feeling nostalgic for that smooth Alcatraz experience. I mean, the smooth Alcatraz experience. I'm sure many of you do. It's fascinating how two new first-person shooter games hit the mobile market recently on the same day. To be specific, one of them is constantly updating with optimization fixes and bug patches daily, while the other one is rolling out brand new maps, game modes, and events. The difference is clearly noticeable. The latter game is Blood Strike. Haven't you tried out Blood Strike yet? How sad. Try it. You will like it. Blood Strike has stepped up to fill the void left by the absence of Alcatraz, introducing a new action-packed map. If you have been missing the fast-paced intensity of Alcatraz, Blood Strike's upcoming map might just scratch that itch. It's time to talk about this map and what exactly we are going to expect in the upcoming weeks in Blood Strike. Let's clear up any confusion. The name of this map is Shutter Island, and it is a prison-based island map, bearing striking similarities to Alcatraz. While we haven't seen the official gameplay of this map yet, we can still get a good idea of what it looks like. Now let's examine this map closely. On the left we have the Alcatraz map, on the right we have the Shutter Island. Just take a look how similar these two appear. I'm confident that the sizes of these maps are very similar. While the layout may not be identical, I'm certain it will be action-packed, just like Alcatraz. In the trailer we catch a glimpse of gameplay within this island-styled map. Although it is not much, we do see a brand new vehicle in action. However, I'm not entirely convinced that there will be vehicles in it, as there might not be enough room for them to maneuver without instantly getting destroyed. But it is not unreasonable to anticipate this type of vehicle given what the trailer shows. This map is expected to debut in the PC version first, being in the beta phase, before being introduced to the mobile platform later on. Screenshots have surfaced indicating the number of people parachuting onto the island simultaneously. This suggests that it won't be just another typical battle royale experience experience, with multiple revive flights possibly occurring every few minutes, it promises to be more engaging than Blood Strike ever was. If you have played Blood Strike, you know how fast paced it gets, especially in the last zone. Now imagine how action packed this map will be. Let's delve into this map using the screenshots to see what we can learn about it. In the first image, we can see trucks is scattered around the map, providing cover for players. Additionally, the map is surrounded by dense foliage, adding life and depth to the environment. In this image, we can observe a canal running through the map. This canal could provide tactical advantages. For example, players could use it to hide if they find themselves in a challenging gunfight. Alternatively, players could strategically position themselves within the canal to wait for the safe zone, although this strategy may not always be advisable. In the next image, we can see guard towers, a prison building, and guard tent camps on the map. Additionally, there is a chimney emitting smoke. It's intriguing to consider if players can land on this chimney. I can't wait to find that out. In the next image, we are closer to the sea, and you can see the prison is on a higher ground. However, there is a road around it, dividing the map into two. This setup allows for long-range encounters near the shore and intense battles inside of the prison. In this image, we see another perspective of the area we looked at previously. Notice the gas pipes on the map, which you can use to travel from one end to the other. Despite the high walls, you can use these pipes to maneuver around the map quickly, perhaps unnoticed. In this image, we can see a water tower. This is the opposite perspective of the previous image, where we saw a chimney. I expect a lot of action around this water tower, especially during revives and in the final zones. So this water tower is going to be quite iconic for sure. In this image, we can take a closer look at the army tents. Notice that the inside of them looks quite empty, which means there's enough space for gunfights. So it looks like we can expect gunfights not just inside of the prison, but also inside of these camps. And I can guarantee one thing for sure, you can shoot through these tents. So it's not a good idea to stay inside of these. Here we see more variety in trees, with what appears to be administrative office buildings rather than prison structures. Here in this image, we get a closer look at the other trees around the map. Personally, I find this part of the map more appealing than the other areas. Here's another image from a top of a container in the same area, which clearly shows clear segmentation between the prison and the administrative office building areas. Did you notice a plane in each and every image? This probably hints at frequent reward flights we are going to see in this map. Alright, this image is taken from the middle of the map, and you can actually see some oil fuel tanks here as well. You can also use them for cover. Here's a closer look at a fuel tank. Yes, in this image, it seems like the player has used the pipelines to travel around the map allowing them to move from one end of the building to the other end, as shown. In this image, we can see another example of using the pipes to travel around the map. If you travel straight, you can go to the prison building, or if you travel to the right, you can go to the administrative office area. It shows how players can strategically navigate the map using these pipes. These rooftops provide excellent vantage points for engaging in gunfights, especially when players land on the ground along with other enemy players. Unfortunately, the screenshots didn't cover everything, such as the two ships, the building adorned with the graffiti, and the helipad. 
image. If you take a closer look at this image, you will notice there's a huge difference in graphics now in game versus what you see in these images. It seems like they're hinting at a potential graphics update, especially for high-end devices, which could significantly enhance the visual experience of the game. This is exciting news for players who enjoy immersive graphics and want to see improved visual fidelity in their gameplay. In the Facebook page, they have also teased us about possible graphics update. Here's what they said. Hey there, can't keep the good stuff all to yourself, am I right? Here's a sneak peek of some developments on the map. Who says can't have a smooth gameplay and excellent graphics? I want it all. Clearly shots fired against competitive games out there. A graphics update alongside the release of the new map would indeed be a significant enhancement for the game. It would not only improve the visual quality but also elevate the overall gameplay experience for players, setting it apart from other competitive games in the market. Let's dive into the topic of how players from regions like India access World Strike despite its unavailability there. It's a bit amusing to see India listed on the leaderboards, isn't it? Well, I decided to investigate further and reach out to players who are actively enjoying the game from India. To begin with, the first step is to download the game. If you are in India and using an Android device, you won't find Bloodstrike on Play Store. Similarly, if you are on iOS, it won't appear in the App Store either. But don't worry, there's a workaround for this issue. If you're using an Android device, here's what you can do. Download an app called TapTap. Once installed, simply search for Bloodstrike within the app. You will find it there. And within minutes, you will be able to install Bloodstrike on your Android device. It's simple as that. If you're using iOS, the process process is a bit different. You will need to change the region of your Apple ID to a country where Bloodstrike is available, like Singapore. Once you have done that, head to the App Store and you will be able to find and download Bloodstrike with ease. Now that you have got Bloodstrike on your mobile, you might encounter an error message saying, slow connection, please check your connection and try again. This happens because you are accessing the game from India. To bypass this, simply use a VPN to log in. Remember, the VPN is only needed for logging in. You can turn it off once you are in the game. I will repeat that again. The VPN is only only needed for login in. You can turn it off once you are in the game. To get around this issue, you can use any free VPN available and select any country. Most VPNs offer countries like the US, Canada and various European countries for free. Choose one of these countries but remember to select your server as Asia in game regardless of which country you have chosen during the initial login. Once you are logged in, in the main lobby you can disconnect the VPN. This allows you to enjoy better ping since you are connected to the Asian server. Now that you know how to play Bad Strike from India, what are you waiting for? Let's dive into action. Many Indian players have commented on how to buy gold in the game and it is true that you cannot do it directly in game. However, there's a workaround again. Simply click on the link in the description below and find bonus rewards just below the download on the app store button. Click on it and you will be redirected to Games Club Netty's official store. The great thing is you can actually get more gold for what you pay for because it's a direct purchase. You don't have to pay fees for Apple or Google. So enjoy buying gold and purchasing anything you like in game. The upcoming update on March 20. 8th of 2024 is bringing some exciting new content. The Scar Ultra Skin Force of Nature will be released on 29th along with a purchase bonus event. If you make a purchase during this event, you will receive a new emote called Buster Moo and his stash vouchers. I'm definitely excited about it and I might even make a video showcasing the process of purchasing this amazing Ultra Skin. On April 5th, get ready for the release of the new legendary Dagger Skin Butterfly Knife Synth Wave. It's incredible to see the transformation of the dagger into a sleek and stylish part of fly knife and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you found this video helpful and enjoyable don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos like this i'll see you guys in the next one